principles the same for any graphics card. Try not to touch. If, if you can help it, try not to touch any of the circuitry on there. Just hold the printed circuit board portion of it. Now this is a card designed for PCI Express. Nearly every motherboard these days has what's called a PCI Express port which is kind of like where I plugged in the USB except it's it's meant for graphics card it's it's a it's an accelerated PCI port which is you know that's what the E stands for big fancy marketing term there's nothing different about installing the graphics card so we put our graphics card very carefully into the light blue slot of the PCI slash B port. Gently push it, maybe push a little bit at the back first and then let the front slide in. And then clip the plastic thing over. And then it's done. Now we have to deal with these extra leads. There's lots of these leads. Grab one of those leads. Next one's the USB. We saw the USB. It's right here. Plug into USB one. It can only go one way. It has to go in this way. Be very careful though. Even though it can only go in one way, be very careful of the pins. That's our USB on the front. It's now connected to the motherboard. <coughs> The audio is usually somewhere a bit closer to the front of the motherboard. This is a system fan. It's a fan at the front and we see here it has a special plug. It says sys fan. Just plug it in with three fans. Done. It came with a extra extension. You don't need that because we're using the power supply for the motherboard which, as you'll see, will get its own power supply. Speaker. This is for the internal speaker that goes deep when you start. And it, you might think, I don't need an internal speaker, I, don't, I use the sound card and I've got speakers. But it, it's handy, if there's any problems, the, the internal speaker will beep during the uh, startup process. So, now these these colourful leads that all have their own colour code cable. They're also uh, from the front. They're things like we have power SW power switch. So we unwrap that from there so we can get it by itself. That's the blue and white. Counter cat. And that's obviously hard disk drive lead. I mean, when you plug that into the motherboard, it, it tells you when the hard drive is accessing. It flashes when you, you know, you've seen the hard drive light flash. Reset SW. Reset switch. If you look on the edge of your motherboard, there's a spot where you can plug in all these multiple things. Now they're all color coded. In here, there's there's some little pins waiting for one of these. This one says power switch. On there it says power switch. It actually says PWRSW, which is like a shorthand. It actually just says PW on here, but we all know what that means. Color coded to show you that there's two pins that go together. Hard disk drive LED. Goes directly underneath power switch. It's intuitive. If you look around a bit you'll find F audio which is front audio as we saw before. F something is for front something. F audio is for the front audio. There's a pin hole missing from this one. It can only go one way. So just carefully very careful, these pins are very delicate. 
do not like pressure in the wrong place. Now what we have to do is connect up all these power cables. Now on your, from your power supply you'll find this multi-pin plug and it, it might have a little one that goes with it. So it's got P1 written on it, power 1, it's obvious that it's uh, there's a white socket there, it's obvious where it goes, it can only go in one way, so plug it in, I have a hard drive, these bigger slots, they're big slots, they uh, hold the CD-ROMs and DVD players, these ones hold disk drives, including hard disk drives, you find the end of the hard drive that has all the pins, don't touch them if you don't have to. There's one with four pins, that's power. There's another one with lots of pins, that's for the IDE. Now as I, I mentioned it earlier on, there's also a system called SATA, it will be capital SATA. That's um, a newer interface and you're, you're probably likely to come across that if, you, if you're building a completely new system from scratch. You'll probably be using that. That's a little more, uh, well, not more complicated at all, but it's different. This is an IDE. It's a slightly older technology. It's probably pronounced SATA. I don't know. I don't know. It might, might be SATA or SATA. But I, I pronounce it SATA. It's, um, has a mystical property. So this is an IDE or ID. Some people pronounce it ID. Anyway, there's a there's a space for this to go. Slide the hard drive in to one of those spaces, and you'll find that it won't go because, like an idiot, I've forgotten to unlock that slot, and then slide it down. And she's locked in place. Is that it? That's it. No, it's not. Not that easy. What we need is an IDE cable that goes from the hard drive to the IDE controller plug on the motherboard. Just be careful. These these are delicate. These plugs. Be careful when you're plugging it in. And then the other end makes some room through the cable mess into the hard drive and then there's also a pin missing in the end of the other end that only fits into the hard drive one way but if you break a pin on your hard drive your hard drive is a doorstop there's nothing you can do well unless you want to spend like 15 bucks, I mean, who's got that sort of cash? But if, you know, if you break a pin on your hard drive, you're pretty much buggered. Not something you want to do. Now, what I've done, I've plugged hard drive, IDE, ribbon cable into the hard drive port, the IDE port on the motherboard, and you'll see it. It's a, it's a green, and on this one, it's green. You'll, you'll, it can only go into one spot. There'll be two. One of them will be obviously the main one. The other one is in case you have two hard drives that you want to run off two different IDE cables. But you can run two hard drives of the same IDE cable and they will act, take one of those, plug it into your external fan. Your hard drive needs one of these powers. If you're using the SATA hard drive, you'll have a separate a, a different power plug, same power supply, same lead actually, but different. They're, they're both different, only something else instead. So that we've actually got everything in there. I haven't got a CD ROM or a DVD drive. So now you can always ask me a question, you can post a comment about something I've said that just doesn't make sense and and uh, I'll help you or someone else will help you what we're going to do is put the cover on 